What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and we are here today with the next episode of Child of Light where we are trying to clear the cobwebs out of a mountain's cold dead heart. Onward, the spiders await. Please Aurora, don't use me as bait. A heart fashioned out of crystal. Three cobwebs spun, therefore loved little. So do we go... Aurora, what is love known by? When it hurts to say goodbye. So it looks as though there's like a bridge right here. Oh, you can actually... Okay, you gotta stand right there. Well, let's take a look around first. I wanna make sure that we don't miss anything here. Also, we don't miss any XP opportunities. So we've got Piggy Man right there. Let's go ahead and fight with him. Assuming we don't end up with a double spider situation. Yeah, rain arrows on these guys. Forget them. Yeah, I like this. Oh, it splits the damage, so it can be a single target attack. Okay, so that explains a lot. So essentially, it takes whatever damage he was going to have in the first place and splits it among all the enemies that are on the grid at the moment. Ah, so that makes it a little less useful, but then at the same time, it makes him not useless as a single target character either, even though his cast time is enormous. I think, which makes sense given that he's an archer with glasses. But anyways, we got some... We got ourselves a lovely amount of wishes back. Let me make sure that everybody's healed. I'm just going to take these battles a little bit slower than I typically do. Just to ensure that we don't end up on the wrong side of any of this. And I think what I'd like to do now... I'll leave him in for a bit just because it is kind of nice having the ability to drop Daka on everybody simultaneously. And then we'll try and starlight somebody off right here. So the starlight is out. It'll do a little bit of damage and then we've got pound. And so he has unfortunately given me a pounding. I feel as though I should probably contact some form of government agency and report it. However, we're in the middle of a fire dungeon. There's time for that later. There's time for paperwork and bureaucracy later. We'll get to it. I believe what I would like to do now is I would like to drop Rubella into this combat. And I would also like to have her throw a heal on Aurora. Let's slow down some of these guys here. She's managed to outrun everybody on the cast timer right there, which allows her to kill him off, which then leaves him with Crush, which I think paralyzes somebody. I thought that was the ability that, that paralyzes people. Oh well. You take what you get. I'm happy. With this guy right here, I think he's weak to fire, actually, and so I have nobody that's even remotely good with fire in my team right now. It seems strange that somebody weak to fire would be in a volcano. Let's test it. I seem to remember him being weak to fire. We'll test it out later, but... Almost positive Piggy Man is weak to fire. And so there it is. The big old KO. And so you get the wonderful Glass Joe moment. I didn't know... I didn't know funny looking creatures like ya... Existed in Lemuria. Ha, huh, small talk aside. You willing to put a price on your, a price on your pipe? Not in your life. Sometimes I can't read his dialect at all. Like, it seems like it gets thicker and thinner as we go along. I should stop doing that, by the way. I guarantee I'm going to get jumped by... Oh, damn. I was chasing that one downwards. I got myself into trouble. I mean, it's going to restore a little bit. But let's go ahead and handle the rest manually and ensure that at least she's at full health. We have a bunch of people who are wounded, though. So maybe I should just sit here and allow an entire cast bar to go down while we wait for the party to be healed completely. There we go. And so, I don't think that's actually going to heal everybody to full, but it got him back to where he can take more than one hit. His HP is a little low by comparison to everybody else, but at a certain point, it's just what are you going to do? He's got to wait for him to level up. Grab ourselves some freebie treasure. Grab it all in wonderful measure. That would bring me great pleasure, and so forth. Obviously, there's lots of space for rhyming in this game. The fire is hopping over here. Must be a good day in the fire hood. One of the spiders after Magnus Hart. Oh, he's got a helmet. Holy hell. Although the helmet doesn't really appear to be designed for his physiology. It's sort of makeshift. Well, let's see what's going to happen here. 
We got the surprise strike, but we are up against three armored spiders. My initial response to this... ...would be to put in Finn. And there's no guarantee that these are fire spiders. However... We have lightning strike one. Let's try out Monsoon first and just sort of see what happens. Oh good, they're quick and nasty like every other variety of spider too. Okay, so they're not weak to water. They have a lot of armor too, god. Let's go for Starlight then. If they use any form of haste, we're gonna be dug in for a really long, really nasty fight. Oh, you've just gotta- wait, did his armor come off? Maybe lightning then, because they're in armor? God. The focus fire here is just insane. Okay, well, let's put in Rubella. And the problem is with the focus fire is because they have so many characters that if they choose to focus fire, it basically puts you in a state of perpetual backpedaling, which is not fun by any meaning of the word. So you got, yeah, they're still going to keep on hitting Aurora. I don't know what the trigger is for them disliking Aurora so much, but hell if I know. I don't think she's going to survive much longer. I'm going to swap her for Finn. And we're gonna try out a lightning strike on somebody. Ah, still didn't make it. That automatic slow they get is bad too. Every single strike has a slow attached to it. And I simply don't have the MP to sit here and dispel it all. I do, however, have a number of abilities here. which might be useful. So we can, while we can't balance out everything, we can make this slightly even. So let's go ahead and heal Finn first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start using low potions every single turn. I don't know how long these last, does it say? Hopefully it's permanent, I don't know. Because the free slow that they get, we need to either bring them down to our speed or we need to negate it every time it goes up. Didn't, I think somebody has an ability that makes them immune. I also know that little rat guy has an antidote, but I don't really want to spend every single turn casting antidote either. So I'm gonna blow some Lola elixirs, elixirs on this one. Just to put this thing back at the same pace for everybody. That's him. Let's go ahead and... We're going to Lull Elixir one more time. On him, I think. We're going to allow him to attack. And the reason in so doing is to allow her to heal. Actually, that was all part of the plan right there. Let's make sure that he doesn't get his cast off. We can slow them down majorly if we really want to. There's a bit more damage to the front line. So over here, we now have really only the option to throw out a heal. Let me grab some of those wishes right there. Let's just go with the heal. I'm not going to waste any more... Where is this guy? I see him here. He needs to be handled like right this second. I'm going to go lightning strike on one of these just to test and see if it works. No, that didn't work either. God, I don't know. These guys seem to have a lot of defense, and I'm not really sure how to get through it. Water hasn't worked. Fire hasn't worked. Lightning hasn't worked. Light also hasn't worked. Interesting. That might also be a good plan. She has ailment protection. Let's swap in Robert. I think maybe his ability is like the clutch ability you need right here. Maybe their armor falls off or something after a certain amount of damage. I have 
no clue. I'm not really seeing anything that's going to be super useful from Robert. Let's put in Nora because she's got a hard chin on her. And then we'll start working with some unstoppables or something so that I don't end up defending. But for right now, all we can do is defend. And I would prefer to knock him back. What else does she have? Unstoppable, quick and all. She's not going to get that off in time just based on where his cast bar is. I'm just going to go for the Petrify, maybe take one of these guys out. Maybe they're just resistant to anything that isn't... It seems as though they may be resistant to any type of magic damage. Well, let's keep focusing the one in the front, maybe... It'll sort itself out with him. Let's actually just swap him out right now. And we'll put in Rubella, because I think Rubella and Nora is probably the team I want to stick with right now. And then we'll go for... Ooh, I don't know... Who did I hit? That one? Okay, so there's still an attack coming in. Let's go ahead and keep Tumble going on him, I suppose. It does appear as though their armor is going down as they get hit. That's obviously not going to happen, so we'll leave her in defense mode. Rubella's turn is up, and so I can go for a heal all, which is exactly what I think I'm going to do. And we'll keep a Petrify going over there. Heal all is up. And unfortunately, the pounces are away, so we got to be careful that we don't end up slowed right here. It's kind of a bad dice to be rolling, unfortunately. And she's going to have to skip another turn. So there it is. She's gotten herself lulled, finally. Well... She's been low. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of HP back here. We're not really using any of the light radii anyways from Igniculus. Let's go ahead and get her back on her feet. And on this side, I think we're going to have to use a... Where is it? It's here somewhere. Oh, I don't have any left. I was looking for fairy or whatever. Oh, we don't have any fairy. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's what I wanted. Because she's not missing that much HP, but she needs to get some MP back. Which one are you? Right there? Okay. There we go. And we're going to sit and defend again. Oh my god. The arrangement of these guys sometimes is just like, well... It seems like they always fall into like a perfect rotation where they're countering you almost every single time. It's the weirdest- Oh good, I'm slowed again. That's enjoyable. Spamming the same ability over and over and over again. Just slow him down. This time it's her turn to defend. They may actually get another turn before I even finish. Let's go ahead and throw a heal on her, because that's why we did the mana potion previously. We're going to do the exact same thing again and try and get her off of that stupid pounce or whatever it is that they keep spamming out. And if you're wondering why I haven't used ailment protection yet, it's because we just haven't had an opening. Every time we get to her turn, I need to heal somebody. And so, keeping people alive is presumably better than getting the ailment protection up. 
Okay, so the damage has gone out. We have to do something about her. But yeah, at this point, all I'm doing is I'm backpedaling the entire time. I'm just throwing heals on people randomly. These mobs really don't feel balanced to me, like at all. I feel like every combat we go into, like every other one, is just backpedaling the entire time. It's not necessarily that they have a combination of abilities that are requiring of any real thought or anything. It's just sort of backpedal the game. I think we will go for quick and elixir is a waste of time. No matter what we do, we're dead on the next turn. Somebody's dead on the next turn no matter what we do. Well, we can either lose Nora or we can lo well, we can lose both presumably if you actually do the math on how quickly they're acting right now. Well, I suppose we'll just throw a potion out there. That's all I can do. Luckily, Nora's acting pretty quickly. I can't guarantee that ability is actually going to like get off, but we can try it. Oh good, it did get off. That's fun. Alright, well, at least that worked out. So now we're double hasted, at least until they decide to remove that one more time. And then what I prefer to do here is restore our wishes because the plants regrew. Definitely a long fight. A huge fight, in fact. I think... Honestly, I may step the difficulty back just because like, it's not challenging, it's just not fun would be the only difference that I would say is these fights are just taking way too long for an LP. I think... Let's continue focusing on the guy in the front, I guess. I mean, unless I wanted to be proactive and get a heal off right now. I don't know. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do the heal right now, I think. Pounces her away. She's going to be stuck defending this turn. As is she. She's no longer hasted. But I think I would rather act on this turn and actually deal some damage than just like sit here twiddling like I have been. And now would be the time for ailment protection on everybody. Where's that guy? I need him to slow down right this second. Okay, and so now we have ailment protection, which is going to make our lives a little bit easier. We've also got one guy who's paralyzed, which is actually a major, major thing for us, too. So let's continue harping on him. Yeah, their armor goes down over time. If I had to take a stab at what's been going on here. I'm going to throw out a heal all. try and interrupt him, but I don't know if it's going to get off in time. This may... Nora is not the fastest. Yeah, I was concerned about it, but decided to take the risk anyways. Let's go ahead and throw some heals around because the plant has regrown again. Ailment protection does appear to be the key now that we can finally get that huge cast time off. Let's go ahead and I'll try and do it early. So next time, you know how we always get the first attack? I'll try and do ailment protection on the first turn next time so that we don't have to worry about any of this stuff. That might also speed along the combat slightly. Let's just keep the attacks going. We need to kill these guys very, very badly. Okay. We do have an opening right now, so I think... She should be able to get back around and use 
or tempting fate right now. I'm hoping that she doesn't get killed by these two attacks. If they double focus, they've been hitting for 40-ish. Might work, might not work. I don't know. Let's go Magic Potion right here. And then we'll sort it out. I mean, I guess actually, technically I could just sit here and heal her using my Farty Gas, but... I have to defend right there because we can't guarantee where the next attack is going to be going. And then now that she's got her mana back, she can start heal botting one more time. It's all about finding the proper team comp. I think what this fight came down to is it's kind of finding the team composition that counters whatever it is you're up against. Like, these guys were very clearly... My main strategy for the majority of the game has been just to throw out as much, like, magical damage as possible. And so we come up against enemies with extreme magical resistances. You're like, all right, well, what do I do now? I'm almost out of healing tonics, too. I may have to use something else. Or I may have to pull her. Let's just pull her. I can't afford to use anything else, so let's... We'll put in Robert for now. Robert hasn't seen any screen time for a bit, and if he starts doing just terribly, we'll drop him. Probably worth mentioning that I should be throwing up ailment protection again pretty soon. But up until the point where it becomes completely necessary... Okay, so it's not Pounce that was doing it. As I said before, it was their nasty little sting that they have going for him. Let me slow him down. Oh, I'm all out of farty gas. Never mind. Not gonna help. Let's throw out a heal then. We're a little bit faster, and this should allow Robert to just totally lay the smack down on everybody, I hope. Slow him down, and then we're actually going to try his ability out. Double hit right here, and then we're going to see if it works. If we can kill this guy, it's going to be super awesome. this works. Oh, that was awesome. Yes. On all counts, yes. I can't believe that actually worked out for me. My plans actually succeeded. What? He's got a very long cast time on Hinder, so I don't think he's going to get it off. Let's go ahead and swap him out for Aurora? Oh, Aurora slowed. Okay, well... I think I'd rather have Robert. Let's just keep Robert. And then since it's got a medium cast time on double hit, I probably didn't need to do that, but I just wanted to make sure the shot got off in case you're wondering why I wasted that ability. I was just trying to make sure 100% that we ended up with a counter blow since everybody's HP is sort of dwindling at the moment. I'm going to go for a defend on him right now. He's going to get Sting off before she takes her turn. That's okay. I'm going to have her go for a heal all because we've got the time to do so. And we'll just go for a Reign of Arrow since it combines the damage on him. Okay, good. And so there it is. We've completed the combat and we almost got two levels up on Robert right there. That would have been super sweet if he had leveled, him up so, or leveled himself up twice. But just shy of it. However, that should mean everybody else leveled up. Because that was a big-ass grip of XP. And if everybody leveled, that means that saves us the time of having to sit around and heal everybody, which is also a good thing. And so we've healed the first aspect of the heart, as far as I know. Ah, so there it is. Puff, puff. There, one has been unraveled. Where now? Underground, I am so baffled. From that chest, we found ourselves another tumbled emerald. I'm trying to speed through here the best that I can. So we've only got a minute or two left in the playthrough. But I'd like to get to a situation where we can stop, we can breathe for a moment. I mean, we've already got ourselves to a breathable... Actually, we can just allocate skills, and then after that, we'll move on. I could upgrade my defend. That's not a horrible idea either, so I think I will do that with her, considering how much time we spend defending. On Rubella's skill level, we were going for Tumble All, or at least Tumble 2, so we'll get there on next level up. 
with Finn, we got Rage of the Kapili, and so we were deciding where we wanted to go from there with him. We were going to go for Wildfire All, I think, because if there's one thing I've noticed about this game is that a huge amount of enemies are weak to fire. With Nora, we were moving towards Paralyze All, which is right there, or Petrify All. And with Robert, we didn't really have any plan. We were just kind of going for double hit rank 2 so that he hits a little bit harder and he has a better chance of executing somebody and getting the double strike. Oculi, I don't know if we have anything to combine here. I'm just kind of trying to write out the episode right now. So no, we don't. I think I'm going to break it off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Child of Light. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and I will see you there.